All right. Hey guys, um, I thought I'd do um, a walkthrough of our anatomy fig over here, uh, which we started back then. So there's a, um, there's a, I recorded like tutorials, not actually tutorial, but then I, re I recorded my screen while I sculpted this, um, this figure. Um, I wouldn't say it's finished, but then um, I'll leave it here for now. So I, I thought I'd share and um, let's just walk through and see how, like, what I w was I thinking and um, yeah, like the our study. <laughs> okay, let me just jump into it. Uh, see, I'll, I'll start from the top. So what I did is I s separated the, um, the head from the body because I wanted more t uh, topology at the top because I was using Dynamesh. Mm, let's just walk through here. Right on top of the head. Okay, so for the head, let me just check here. So basic, I didn't add like any high details, just showing the muscle striations. Our temporalis muscle over here. Let me decrease my cursor. Temporalis muscle over here. The dramatic, the dramatic major, the dramatic minor going on. So then I added a few muscles which are visible, f um, not actually visible, but then normally visible t um, on top of the skin sometimes. So like it's not like all of the muscles are here. I just chose a few to show. And what I have here is just still basic, uh, it's not like any high details or anything. I think uh, I'm on low res, so let's just take it to high res. Subdivide it a bit more. As you, as you can see, uh, it's not like much details. If I zoom in closely, uh, I also sculpted the, the eye. Um, Let's try to select it, uh, isolate, so it's, as you can see, it's a basic eye, scalera and the iris, and the pupil, uh, and the pupil, and the pupil, yeah, and, um, and the inner part. Um, it's not like high rays also, but then I try to capture like most of the details then. to achieve that so there are like videos on my youtube channel showing the, the entire process I took for that so for our head um, let me just click as you can see where I I separated it and I added a key That, that connects the head to the entire body. I wouldn't say like it's 100% correct, but then it it it, it could work, and it's um, it's basic um, 3D printing just for us to um, to get an, uh, an idea. So I didn't go like all the way. <laughs> so that's that. And then going to the body. As you can see, I emphasize most of the muscles. <laughs> I stand a cloud of my story. 
Men så til nogle større der må være Og Pectorales Major And the mine is, is the name inside but then it's, it's, it's not visible And So I'll go cl 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 ahead As you can see it, it I, I made a cut over here And then it continued also Just so I could separate the um, the arms from the body also so I just made a cut right at the um, clavicle so as you can see our clavicle bone is, is over here and then uh, what is a uh, um, uh, cronium process over here on top the flat part and then our deltoids are, uh, I made a cut right where they insert in the clavicle and the scapula As you can see the spine of the scapula continues Over here And then I chose a few muscles over here which are visible It's uh, infraspinatus That inserts into humerus And then our teres minor also from the scapula and our teres major the one the, the big one over here and then over here I just tried to show the rhomboids at the bottom of the trapezius so there's our trapezius so right in and uh, above that we have our latissimus dorsi the store side as it wraps around it at the back and then going to the front we have a serratus anterior over here and then I separated the um, made this very prominent uh, latissimus dorsi overlapping the serratus anterior so we have that and uh, rectus abdominis pretty basic but then we are I was trying to show a few of the details and over here I, I underneath we obviously have like the um, the um, our rib cage, sorry. I'm thinking. Just so I was trying to show that also. Our rib cage. We've got our rib cage over here. So I made like a few details also, emphasizing that. to show that and then our external obliques we like lines showing that also let me let me go to the arms I want to show how I make those cuts so if, if I could isolate this just show you the inner part so then there's a hole here which the humerus will insert in hopefully it, it can hold up but then it, as I said it's basic um, uh, articulation it's I wouldn't say like it's, uh, it's 100% but then you guys can try it out so it's just, just a study I, I done just to make like a solid piece of uh, an anime figure without splitting anything like showing the bones and uh, the muscles etc so here I can see we have our um, latissimus dorsi and our pectoralis major they spin so the the, um, the uh, ab abdominal head insert higher than the clavicular here so then they twist away on top 
so I try to make that also just to show that so if I can show my arms so we have our dev toad so if I can isolate that you guys can see so this humerus over here and um, it inserts on, uh, on that hole that I showed you guys so these are the the biceps so then the long head and the short head as they go over the <coughs> the humerus here and then uh, this is a cropiobacchialis and then I showed the, also the um, I can turn the back the trapezius it has three heads so one two three um trapezius no 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 sorry tricep yeah see a lot of my mind sorry guys so this is a tricep um i sometimes forget these muscles but then try to remember the names if it helps you to remember where they are and where they how they insert but then I, I think like knowing the origin and insertions is the key to knowing your anatomy so yeah we have our biceps as you can see I showed the um, our tendon over here going through and the sheet of that attaches to the skin and I showed a few muscles so the first ones I, I believe they're ridge muscles they're called Brachio radialis, this one, and then it comes and then under the other. So the brachio radialis, the brachio radialis, and um, extensor carpi radialis longus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, they tuck in under the um, abductor pollicis longus, this one over here, and then the abductor. Um, the sorry, the um, what is it called again? I, I think it's the extensor pollicis police, brevis. This one over here, and they go to the thumb. So I tried to show that also. If I can zoom in, you guys can see. The, there you go. And this over here is the um, radius, the radius bone over here. So a second muscle is the pronator teres and over here are small muscles from the medial epicondyle of the humerus. Second muscle um, I think I forgot this one, it's uh because it's an extensor digitorum because it, it extends the uh, the, um, uh, the digits see the tip going flowing out to the fingers over here since the tutorial if I got that right hopefully no flexor since the tutorial is on this side sorry so how I memorize this is from this side um, you flex so these muscles over here are flexors and then when you turn from this side these muscles are extensors so how I'm, I try to memorize this is so when I see okay from the um, from this side so this can be our extensor digitorum it extends our digit and then next to it the, the tiny muscle is the extensor digiti minimi so it's tendon, it's tendon goes to the pinky thing over here and then the next one over here, um, I'll try to remember them more. Um, is the extensor copy ulnaris because it's it's um, close to the, the ulna, so it's the last muscle, and then it's the ulna bone over here. I just try to show that also. And then if you turn around, now we have our flexors. So flexor copy ulnaris because it's such as they, uh, by the by the uh, by the owner bone so owneris and then palmaris longus so it's a 
it, it's a tiny muscle but then has a long tendon pomerus longus and then um, flexor there's a flexor copri radialis I believe that's about them uh, I probably like missed a few but then you uh, I believe you guys got the point this is not like a tutorial but then I was just going to show how I made those things so then what I did I showed the muscles of fingers and a bit of a skeleton and underneath so then there's no fascia or anything not much but then so it's skeleton muscles yeah that's it and then I had a few muscles Palmeris brevis over here also and those are the hand you guys can see so then going down with the body I'm gonna rush to this um, in this guys so I'll try to show a few details also So, got our aces here, yeah. anterior superior elix spine, so our tensor fascia lata attaches over here in our sartorius, and I, I kind of emphasize like, um, I, I, I think I exaggerated, I don't know, but then is um, abductors, so then, you guys can clearly see how they insert, how they um, how they flow. From there, we got our vastus medialis. So it's in the middle. Vastus lateralis rectus femoris so they, they have the same tendon and then turn around iliotibial band uh, we have a semi tendinosis semi membranous oh sorry oh yeah semi tendinosis there's a tendon going in there semi membranosis over here and then we have our bicep femoris Touching the in the um, the fibia, we at the bottom. So yeah, I I, I tried to show the the femur, the bone, the femur, and the epicondyle. So we're trying to show that also. And our kneecap also, and it tendon going in and then our tibia tibia T and then you got our tibia bone over underneath tibia tibia the muscle way so there's a few I think I'm gonna need that and then the back muscles our gastric meat so I, I try to make sure that I show that the crash of Nemus grabs the the condyles over here. So here's the um, femur, and then it, it grabs there. Yeah. Underneath that we have our soleus and so forth. So yeah, that's it. And uh, I created like a what I appended a cylinder. I, I believe I believe it was a cylinder as a stand, like a basic stand and then from there let me see if I can isolate this so we leave that, that hook in there I just pulled so then the topology is not that good just basic so it's connected to the so what I did Turn this on. So I can select this and isolate. 
you'll see that I made a hole just going there so it's very basic so it can stand so then the articulation is, is I wouldn't say it's perfect like seriously my main focus was to study the human figure and to capture all those details as close as possible like show the uh, the bones and the muscles like hand sculpt them and like make them one mesh if possible as you can see I separated the Hercules tendon from so I, uh, I just made a hole over here so there is a tutorial showing that also these are the bones so it's not like entirely high rate but you got that the point so yeah that's it um, our figure I wouldn't say it's finished because um, a piece is never finished actually I just left it and say so, yeah, I've, I've managed to achieve what I've achieved if we can um, so yeah, I, I think she's seven and a half years tall so this is a basic um, figure for the world 3d printing but you guys can try out <coughs> it will be very mm -hmm. available on, on my store so you guys can help yourself out so uh, thank you guys for your time so this wasn't a tutorial like going through the muscles and so forth I think I went through some of them I believe I've missed some and forgotten some which sometimes is normal sometimes many people like know them more like uh, but what can you say so just um, uh, I believe it's a great figure just to study the muscles mm. and to to know what you you sculpt in plus you, you you can have this figure digitally and you can print it just for whatever suits you so I must say like it was uh, I kind of saw like um, uh, a need to have like a, um, a figure which is easy to access and digging in showing bones and muscles at the same time so I tried that so yeah I tried to show the greater trochanter and our uh, gluteus maximus gluteus medi uh, medius I even forgot that so yeah it's a mixture of bones and muscles hopefully you guys um, can learn something out of it and yeah you know, I'm not saying it's a perfect piece but then I use like many resources and kind of like in inspired by an animal tools uh, the presentation in the ZBrush summit so I just thought let me just create one piece for myself also So this um, was just a study. So I shared like a tutorial for free. You guys can grab it. But then this figure will be uh, available for sale, and uh, male figure. I will attach links. They will be available. So yeah, thank you guys for your time. Um, so yeah, enjoy. <laughs>